Hello everybody, Andrew Majeski here with Dental World Tutoring. I've been away for a couple days, but it's nice now to be back home. And of course, the first thing I do is go on my computer and I am working on some um, mock exam questions for my students in the um, a board exam prep academy. So if you are a dental hygiene student or a dental assisting student, looking to obviously pass the board exam, then have a look at my um, Dental L Board Exam Prep Academy because I go through everything. So you have access to modules, um, previous session um, recordings for the past two years. You get um, tutoring at least twice a month and we are actually having a live tutoring session on uh, Saturday, sorry, on Saturday. It's usually on Sundays, but it's actually on Saturday, so tomorrow. And I am just making some new questions for my students. So I just thought that I would give you guys kind of a, a sneak peek. So at the last session that we did have, I did have students ask me to make some special needs and medical emergencies questions because I do typically ask at the session before what students want to know because inside our course there's pretty much everything there so you do have mock exams case studies as i said you have um, modules everything but there's still always more to know right and even if you're trying to study a topic you might still say afterwards oh you know what that was good but I still feel like I need a little bit more so that's why I, I like to ask students at every session that we do have what they want to know next so we will be talking about special needs and medical emergencies um, I just thought that I would give you guys kind of a sneak peek into some questions, okay? So how the tutoring sessions usually work is they're about an hour long, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but usually an hour long, and I just go through the mock exam questions. So there's typically about 30 slides, and that takes about an hour, um, and I go through the mock exam questions, and then there's the answers afterwards too. And the thing that I like about that is if let's say all of the students that I'm teaching get this question wrong or if most of them do then that tells me that well I haven't taught this properly then so I need to actually stop to explain it a little bit more so then they can say oh okay now that makes sense but if I'm going through questions and they all get the answer right then I know that I can move on, you know, if that makes sense. So just as an example, so this is the first question that I do have prepared. So your office sees primarily seniors. You don't have a lot of experience yet. Um, um, functionally independent older adults, um, and then the answers are A, have more natural teeth, or B, have at least one partial denture in the mouth, C, have dementia, or D, do not use the floss, okay? So what answer do you think this is? Um, if this is something that you have to think about, then feel free to click um, pause, and then you can watch the rest of this afterwards, okay? So, but I am going to talk about the answer, because I find this kind of tricky, right? And this is, my mock exam questions literally come from probably eight different textbooks. So I do, I do always purchase the newest ones every couple years and they come from me looking through everything and then taking, you know, um, bits and pieces from different textbooks. So this is from, you know, what I don't remember, but probably the Mosby's textbook. So the answer is A. So they have more natural teeth. And how our tutoring works is I will also stop and say, does anybody have any questions? But I don't just simply leave it at that because I like to talk about it more. So why this answer is A is because of the keyword right here. So if they are independent older adults, okay? So always pay attention to the keywords. Um, if the question might have said, if the senior's not independent, then the answer would change because that's saying, well, if the older adult is independent, then that means they are able to do everything themselves, meaning they, they don't have any troubles using their, you know, uh, toothbrush, water pick, you know, all of that. But if they're not independent, then that means they could have somebody else looking after them. So in that case, 
it would be rare for somebody to have most of their natural teeth because if somebody's looking after them, say if they're in a nursing home, they don't really look after their teeth very well, to be honest with you. Um, even if they had all of their natural teeth, they're in a nursing home for six months, they start to lose their teeth. It's, it is just horrible, honestly, but in the nurse's um, defense is they have so many other things that they have to look after that oral health seems to be the last thing. And then by the time it starts to look bad, it's too late. So they tend to lose a lot of their teeth. Um, so that's the key word here. Um, C, uh, C and D, it just is more of a vague answer. Okay. Yes, that might be, um, actually in this case, C or D would not be correct anyway, because the key word is independent. But if the word, if the key word was not independent, so if they weren't able to take care of themselves, then some of these answers would be more correct, but then you would still have to pick the most correct. So this is what I like to teach my students the most, is picking the most correct answer and why, because that will determine if you pass the exam or you don't pass. So always have that in the back of your mind and pay attention to the different answers too. If let's say two answers kind of sound the same, that's probably not the right answer. But if you notice, um, have more natural teeth. That's pretty much standing alone because if somebody has at least one partial denture in the mouth, that's implying they don't have a lot of their natural teeth left. Um, if they have um, dementia, they probably are starting to lose their teeth because somebody else has to look after them. If they're not taking care, obviously, of their mouth, they probably don't have more natural teeth. So that, that it's not always that easy if you're picking apart the answers, but if you have no idea what the answer could be, then kind of look at all of them and say, okay, well, these two are kind of the same, so it's not those ones. And then look at the other two that you have left and say, okay, what, what's the best? So let's try that with the next one. So just one more kind of sneak peek. So the next one is here. Your next patient is 86 years old. He's um, frail and not very independent. What do you expect to see inside his mouth even without looking at the chart? So even before you look at the answers, look at the keywords of the question. Now, sometimes on the board exam, it's a long question where it could be a paragraph. And the only parts that you have to pay attention to are the key words. In this one, I kind of feel like there's a lot of key words, but obviously when I say the last part of it, what do you see inside the mouth? Or sorry, um, what do you expect to see inside the mouth even without looking at the chart? That's not really a key point. So I'm just giving you too much information trying to trick you, right? The key words I would say is that the patient is 86, and he's not very independent. That's, that's pretty key. Because then if you look at the answer, so the answers are, he has most of his natural teeth. He has um, fixed and removable uh, prosthesis. He has implants. He has excellent oral hygiene. So again, let's kind of look at this a different way. So look at the answers that are similar. So I would say he has most of his natural teeth and excellent oral hygiene are similar. They go hand in hand because if you have excellent oral hygiene, you'll have most of your natural teeth. If you have most of your natural teeth, it's because you have excellent oral hygiene. So does that make sense so far? Um, so then look at the other two that are left, implants and fixed and removable uh, prosthesis. Now let's look at implants. So implants is not a wrong answer here, but the patient's 86, he's not very independent. The cases, or I should say the chances of him having Im implants or even an implant is slim. If he was, let's, I mean, and I pretty much say that because if he's 86, implants started to become popular, I'd say 10 years ago. Um, or I should say they, they got a lot better. So more people were, were talking about implants and more people were putting implants in. 10 years ago, he would have been 76. Are you going to put an implant in a 76 year old? Probably not. Implants are more common in, you know, ages, pretty much age 20 to 40, even 
50, but not usually past that. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it's just not the most common. So if we're trying to pick apart different answers here, think, okay, if I had to pick one, nah, implant might be right. There's nothing wrong with having implants because he could have had an he, he could have had an implant placed many years ago, but fixed and removable prosthesis is kind of making more sense, right? Maybe, yes. So yes, so that is the right answer. Um, so I hope this helped um, to just kind of help to pick apart the answers, picking the best answer. If you need more help, let me know. Um, I will leave the link for you inside the um, Board Exam Prep Academy. So I will leave the link for you there on the bottom um, because you can sign up now. The Board Exam Prep Academy is now open. You have a full access to it for one whole year. So even if you take the exam next month, if you if you take the exam in six months, you have full access for one whole year. And the nice thing is, is that as soon as you, you um, sign up, you have full access to everything. So you can even start to watch the tutoring sessions from like two weeks ago, from a month ago, from a year ago. You have access to everything. Um, if you don't want to watch the, the tutoring sessions right away, we have mock exams, we have case studies, we literally have everything that you need to pass the board exam, so you do not need to open up a textbook again. I cannot say that enough. You do not have to open up a textbook again, because I have done all of the hard work for you, honestly. I have looked at all of them. Um, the board exam prep academy took me years to put all through and I do I do update it as well every four months because things change um, and it was just updated um, it's February 1st today so it was just up late, um, updated just after Christmas so it is newly updated everything's there and I now also have um, which will be released late February a board exam prep app so that all of the mock exams case studies everything you can you can also see from your cell phone um your ipad you just anywhere so i'm pretty excited about that if you guys have questions let me know and good luck mock exam questions are the best thing to kind of train you to do because even if you let's say you had no clue what this question was, then that tells you like, okay, I need to study more on, on seniors and special needs because clearly I didn't know this, so I need to study more. So even if you don't know anything in a mock exam package, that tells you that you have to study more. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, if you need anything, please let me know. I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom to sign up for the Board Exam Prep Academy if you want, because I do have a separate one for dental hygiene students and dental assisting students as well. So you will learn everything. It works for Canada and the US. So it works everywhere. So this will help you. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys very, very soon.